Go on, Martin. Right. Right, so you could choose any two people right. to have a meal with. A meal with. Doesn't matter if they're dead, alive, whatever. You bring okay. them back to life for that meal. Who would you have? Would two, like people. two people. Two people. And why? What sort of meal are we going for? Free courses, Free course McDonald's, what? whatever you McDonald's. fancy. Whatever you oh, fancy. Whatever, whatever fans, okay. Yeah, you so can even go, specify that if you want as well. I'm going to go for a Chinese. Chinese, yeah. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Because the sentence itself is quite funny. I went for a Chinese with Charlie Chaplin. It's quite fun to say. It rolls nicely, yeah. And because he's quite a little bloke, I don't think he'd eat too much, so that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm paying, apparently. <laughs> right, yeah. So, Chinese with Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. And uh, They're going to be... The, the person's going to be there at the same time oh, as the same person. Oh, at the same time. Okay, so I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. pick someone else. Yeah, it will go well with Charlie Chaplin, you know what I mean? Hitler. Oh yeah, because he was a big fan. He was a big fan of him. He was a big fan, so I'd have a Chinese, most Chinese, sit down with Hitler and Charlie Chaplin. This could be interesting. They could share moustache tips. What sort of thing would you ask? Why have you both grown the same (laughs) moustache? Why do you think you're (coughs) funnier than him? (laughs) Which one are you the funnier? (laughs) Do you not see that sketch with Gervais did? He was like, because Goebbels was like... I don't know whether Charlie Chaplin can talk, though. He can. He can talk. Because he can talk. But can he understand German? Wouldn't need to. We won the war. He has to speak our language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Hitler's German. Yeah, exactly. And Charlie no, no, Chaplin's no, no. a mute. Hitler no, spoke English. He's not a mute. He's not a mute. I don't remember him ever talking. He didn't. Have you never seen The Great Dictator? Great Dictator? No. He did a film about Hitler. Oh, yeah, yeah. Didn't he take the piss out of Hitler in that, though? Yeah. Well, of course he did. Yeah. It's a comic. Uh. <laughs> I think the way you've, you've tried to look me silly, but you've made yourself look silly. <laughs> well, I don't know much about you for the two guys. They're both short and have moustaches. One more bowl of that one shot himself in the face. <laughs> but did he, though? Yes. Ah, ah. Well, he could yeah. still be alive, like Elvis. Yeah. All right, well, who would you have dinner with then, Mark? Two people. Two people with dinner with What one meal? meal. One, one a lifetime meal. meal. Have to be Mara Hindley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And <coughs> Mara Hindley and John Barrymore. <laughs> Manny <laughs> McCann. <laughs> <laughs> dirty. Um, it'd have to be someone dirty like. Who's oh, dirty? Your mum. She's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Mara Hindley and Fred West. So they could they could compare notes. And what sort of meal would you take them for? Kids meal. <laughs> Happy meal. <laughs> Happy meal at McDonald's followed by wacky warehouse for drinks. <laughs> nice. And we were talking like, about the scenery and whatever else they think. That sounds like quite an afternoon. It does. <laughs> I think that could kill you. That was a bit of a killer afternoon. No, that wouldn't kill me because I'm, I'm not fit. All right then. Right. Steve. Same question back at you. Well, I would have gone for Will Harris, him being the original beatboxer and that. But no. Uh, he's, no, he's not a beatboxer. But he was. He used to make sound out of nothing, didn't he? He was also <laughs> part of Right. So who would you choose then? Uh, probably Bruce Lee. It's pretty cool. And Chuck Norris. <laughs> what were you talking about? Into the Dragon. <laughs> no. <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> I'll actually, you know, put them against each other and get a little bet thing going on. Get people sort of like put their money on who they think they'll be. So like you'd pick Bruce Lee, who died quite young, yeah. and I'm guessing you bring him back at the same age that he died. And now Chuck Norris is about seventy, <laughs> so I don't think it'd be a fair fight, mate. That's a good point. I have to go for another famous dead fighter, wouldn't I? <laughs> Genghis Khan. There we go. <laughs> so you want to watch Genghis Khan fight Bruce Lee? This could be good. You've got to admit, you're paid to see that. Um, but you're meant to be going to dinner. <laughs> well, we'd have dinner first.